AFPAC 4 has been canceled. Nick Fuentes says, Yesterday our team finished setting up our stage and began preparing to rehearse the program for tonight. Our venue, the Russell Industrial Center, informed us that they will not permit us to go forward with the event in breach of our contract with them. We attempted to negotiate with the property manager, but they had already called the police, who forced our 100-person team to leave the premises and threatened to criminally trespass us. They locked the doors with much of our equipment still inside. We will be pursuing legal action against the venue for breach of contract. Over the last 24 hours, we've been working nonstop to put together an alternative venue, but on such short notice, we have not been able to find a venue that can accommodate our nearly 2,000 guests while guaranteeing our safety and privacy or meeting our standards for an exceptional experience. We will be in touch shortly with sponsors, AF students, and VIP guests. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry to everyone who traveled to Detroit for this event. Why the fuck is he holding AFPAC in Detroit? Like, do you think that... Apparently, according to... um, I can't remember. His ex-boyfriend uh, came out and said that he does this often. He Like, he writes... He has these contracts written in such a way where if they back out, they owe him money. And he deliberately tries to get them to cancel so that he can sue them for a breach of contract and get the get the money that they owe. And apparently this is just his scheme. I'm not sure if that's true. But it's like if you can afford to hire 100 people, how much would it cost to buy, like, a, a, a warehouse or something? Like, you don't need, like, a huge fancy convention center. You just need something. And if you're making enough money that you can buy a hundred employees and shit. I'm kind of curious. Especially like in Florida somewhere. Can I, f okay. There's like, um, kind of want to do this real quick. Commercial property for sale. And there's a website. Loop net sounds correct. Century 21. Flint County, Michigan. No, that's a, that's a great name. I do, I do not want Flint County, Michigan, actually. I want property types. Retail? What would be... Okay, residential in... No, not land. Specialty? Nope. What would you call this? What would you call this thing that you need? You need... It's not an office. It's like a... Freestanding gas... Showroom? Storefront? No. What would you call it, like a convention space or something, like a convention center? Because I'm looking at the property types. Shopping center? No. Oh, no. I can't, like, search this. I'm trying to trying to figure out. This is an interesting thing. I would love for someone to search for me, since I don't want to stop the stream to do this right now. I was hoping I could just very easily... Um, here, let's see. Let me just search this, actually. Commercial property event space for sale. Commercial real estate. Hmm. No, it's not going to. Sorry, I'm just kind of like poking around. Because I've looked at commercial property before. I've been curious. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how. Get an appointment. <laughs> If you, okay, here's a task for the people that have a forum account. If you have um, sports and entertainment, is that it? Oh, events and media, that's it. That's it. I'm, I'm looking at um, Shark Fin right now. I'll switch this over if I, because um, I don't want to like accidentally show anything I shouldn't. But I don't know why it thinks I'm in Flint, Michigan. <laughs> it sure is fucking not. Try Florida. For events and media in Florida, there is no commercial property available. Oh, wait, no, there is. Contact for pricing. I'm just sorry. Okay, look, I got distracted. I love looking at property listings, so I got distracted. I'm just thinking, like, how much would it actually cost to get, like, a shed, like a concrete foundation with a shed to fit 2,000 people? I bet you it. It's not so much that he couldn't possibly do it. And then if you have that convention space, 
and you have the the parking and transportation for that. You could probably do more with that. It's just I, I don't know. This is my thing with Fuentes in general. I'll, I'll summarize it like this instead of speculating on the specifics regarding a convention center. Fuentes apparently has all these resources. He has all these resources. He has all these people. He has all these fans. He has all these means. And he does nothing with it. He still live streams from like his mom's basement in some random shitty Illinois apartment condo in like the middle of the town. And he doesn't get like a studio. He doesn't develop space. He doesn't buy land. Um, he doesn't like uh, build out something where there's more. Like with Alex Jones, there's a. Uh... With Alex Jones, there's, like, all these other interests that he had, and he could just rent out this space to all these people, and he had all these, like, sub-producers sub, uh, on his uh, stream that were working for him, and instead he just doesn't do that and just streams from his basement and tries to rent out convention space knowing that he's going to get banned and gets banned and then he cries about it, and it's just like, are you... Like, why is he so defunct that he can't make his resources go further? Uh, if I had his kind of open access to, to money and shit, I would do so much more with it than he does. Especially if I'm trying to, like, actually effectuate change. And uh, he chooses not to. Then there is... Uh, Sneeko. Sneeko is one of, like, Nick's, Nick's gimps. And he apparently went to AFPAC to, like, um, meet meet Nick and shit, and he just didn't because it got canceled. And then they got into a fight, and then this black guy breaks his fucking teeth. So for the rest of his life, he is going to have, um, like, nerve pain. Like, painful fucking nerve pain um, because his uh, teeth are fucked up. Like, he's never going to be able to eat ice cream or anything again. <laughs> It's just over for him. Is there like a video of this actually? Ooh, there is. Oh, sorry. Holy shit. Dude. Oh my god, hold up. Did they like spit at him or something? Oh, they Holy shit. Okay, hold up. I have to find something real quick. Um, let's see. I someone. I have this comic book literally right next to me, so if I can't find this picture, I'm just going to take a picture for you guys. I someone fight. Let's see if I can find this. Is this frame that I? Oh. Oh, I can only find the one frame like out of context. In my uh review of I some, I showed multiple. Multiple of this frame. I wonder if I can find it just really quick. Aha! Okay, so this, um... This thing was like... Ah, shit. It's like so small that I won't be... Oh, here we go. Okay, wait, wait, hold up. Alright, I know I'm, I'm sounding weird. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I keep saying that. I'm so close. Okay, 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 okay. So here. This is one of the fight things in the Air July comic that, like, a lot of people got super pissy about. And then there is another identical or similar thing where... Aha! Okay, great. I can't open this. 
Okay, this. So you see, like, this is side by side. So on frame one, uh, the big black guy comes out and, like, overhand, like, pummels him. And then there's, like, a weird uh, disjointed timeline where after this, they're supposed to be, like, skirting away. And then they re-go back at each other. And it kind of feels like it's the wrong way around. Like, they're supposed to, like, like, f like bash off and then, like, meet that way. Like, the... This happens, and then this happens, um, but it's backwards, so it's like it, it, it it's kind of fucky wucky when you see it. But um, I can pr see this is like a huge contention with Dick Masterson about why this comic is so shitty. But I can prove that this is actually how black people fight, uh, as indicated by by this. Here we go. Here it comes. There, here's the Eric July. That is literally this shot right here. It's like these two shots just happened. I can prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that black people are fuck capable you, of doing you, this. You, and therefore, Eric, Ju Eric July was right. Everybody owes Eric July a big apology. That's actually how it fucking happens, okay? Come on now. Um, I don't know. Enjoy nerve pain, soccer child. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!